my youtube channel my name is esther and this is seed styles you are welcome to seed styles in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to cut a chinos trouser and i've marked my horizontal lines already but i will quickly brush it for us my waist my crotch length my my knee length this middle, I divide from my knee length to the hem line, I divide it by two to get this middle. It's a, a chino, so it has to be fitted from this place down. Now, how I got this, the difference between cutting of chinos and the men's pants or pants pants is the crotch, is the crotch, the knee, and this particular area. Chinos are fitted. You don't just cut them anyhow. You don't just, they are not free. They are fitted. So what I did here is I divided my hip to get my cross. I divided my hip measurement by four. My hip measurement by four is 11 three quarter. This hip is 47. 11 three quarter. Instead of me placing that 11 three quarter, I I reduce the three quarter. Initially, I was supposed to add one inch for it to make it 12 three quarter, but I did not add the one inch, and then I get I got rid of the three quarter. The, 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 I got rid of the three quarter, so I marked at 11 exactly. It should be fitted on that area, not to be free. This that is final for you. Then the hip, the hip, the knee, I mean, if your knee is 20, for instance, I normally mark it at 18 instead of 20. That way it gives your, your chinos a very good fitting. So instead of marking it at 20, I mark it at 18. Or if you have not taken your client's length measurement to the knee, what you will do is to Divide the full length by two. Whatever you get, you reduce one inch or one and a half or two inch and place the mark there. For example, my length is my full length is 40 divided by two is 20. Instead of me placing 20, I will place 18. From your waistline, you mark 18. That will serve as your knee length. That way it gives your chino a very good fitting. Now at this point. This point, I divided from my knee to the full length. I divided it to get the middle, and I marked it here. So I will shape whatever I have on the length on the down part. I will place it here to, to, to shape so that it will be straight from this particular area down. That is where I want my fitting to start. So I will go ahead and uh, input every other measurement. My waist. On this area, on the waistline here, I will, I will go in. This person is big, so I will go in by, by three quarter of an inch this way. And connect it around this area. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. Okay, connect it like this. Let me see if it's a normal pen trouser. You mark seven and connect it with your seven. And connect it to your seven. Now, my crotch, my crotch is, my tie, sorry. My tie is 31. 31 divided by two. 31. Is here divided by two. Is fifteen point five. So I'll go ahead and mark my fifteen point five here. Then my waist. My waist is forty two, which is ten point five. My ten point five. Then I'll go ahead and add one inch for sewing allowance. And not put it down in front. So I'll mark it here. Now on this area, 
I will come up by two inches. Come up by two inches like this. Then I will mark on this area my heat measurement. I've taken my heat measure, which is eleven three quarter. My eleven three quarter is here. I'll go ahead and add one inch allowance. And my is here. Then I'll connect it to my waistline like this. And see there is a, is a little bit planted. It's okay. That is what I want. Now, on this two inch, that is where I will connect my cuff. Connect it to get the cross cuff. I will see we've gotten the crotch curve. Now, to shape this part, it gets the middle of this 15.5. 15.5. Hold it like so. And get the middle. This is the middle. But I don't want it to be on this point. This middle will not give me exactly the middle here but let me measure this upper part this upper part is 11.5 11.5 divided by 2 is 5 3 quarter which is here then now measure from this starting point and see what the 5 3 quarter will give me here this is 6.6.7 6 on this other side as well can we see where my 6.7 is, it's not exactly on that one. So you just come in from your middle that you get, you come in by one inch and connect it to get the middle. This will give you a perfect, a perfect position for your pocket and your, and your that. So this is my middle, not this one now. But you make sure you divide this one to get it before you take it that way. Now I go and I mark here and mark it on the other part and make the same thing all to the hemline. The length of my chinos is. 40.5 then you add one and a half inch chinos does not really need enough folding allowance like that on the hemline it's just like a jeans doesn't really need enough folding allowance so i added 1.5 inches i added 2.5 inches but after i finished joining everything if i want to fold it i will reduce it to 1.5 inches now this is my knee. My knee measurement is 19 inches. 19 divided by 2 is 9.5. This is where my 9.5 is. Then this 9.5, I will divide it by 2 again. I will divide it by 2 again. And place it. It gives me 4 3 quarter. So I place my four three quarter here and the nine point five is here. That is to say we divided it by four. Now on the on this part, you will leave this part, go to the hemline first, the ankle. The ankle here is fourteen. Fourteen divided by two is seven. That seven I will divide it by two again is three point five. I will mark my three point five here. And then mark my seven here. Yeah. Then the same thing, three point five. I will bring it to this line here, yeah, and seven here. Yeah. Now the, the, the my pants will be very shaped. The chinos pants will be shaped from this part down. That fitting is supposed to give you a very nice fitting. That is chinos for you. Mark is straight. So you can see that there is no need for me to start 
folding it up and shape it that or the normal way that we used to shape our trouser, our pants trouser. This one is a chino, it's like a jeans. So from here, the measurement on this side, the hemline is the same thing. Now I'll go ahead and connect all my points together. Can we see what we are having here? Our chino pants is out. Now I'll go ahead and cut it out. Then on this part, let me come down one inch. I'll come down with half inch. Just half inch is okay for me. You can you can, you can even leave it like that. So this is our chino. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. and place it to cut out the back neckline. Now, another thing is the pocket. You determine how you want your pocket to be. If you want it to be like a trouser, a jeans pocket, you go in from the waistline, you mark 2.5 inches in, and then on the down part, you mark 2.5 inches, or let me say uh, 3.5 inches, sorry. You mark 3.5 inches, and give it a nice curve like this. If you want it, if you want your chinos pocket to be like a jeans pocket, this is what you will do. But if you want it to be straight, what you do is mark seven inches and go ahead and connect it with your. So this is the difference. Jeans pocket, your normal pocket, but I will use this pocket for it. So I'll go ahead and cut it out now. This is my front. This is my front piece. I'll go ahead and place it to cut the back piece. I will do now. The difference is just the allowances that you add. You can either add your allowance on this side or you add it on this side. I will go ahead and add mine towards this side. On the knee line, I'm adding two inches. It's two two inches you add. Two two inches. Two inches. On this area, I'll leave it at 2.5. This person is big. Or you can leave it at down in 2 inches as well. But on the waistline here, I will leave it at 1.5. 1 inch for that half inch seam allowance. Then up here, I will add 2 inches. The person is a bit big. Then on the hip line, I will mark my two inches there as well. Connect them together.
open. The back crotch is not as deep as the front. So you just take it with a slant like this. Connect this one up to your two inches. Then you connect your two inches to the front on the side. Side seam like this. Connect every other part. Now I'll go ahead and cut them out. And this is basically all for the cutting of our chino. This is our chino. This one is paper fly, uh, pocket facing, and this is zipper fly. So, guys, this brings us to the end of our cutting tutorial. If this tutorial is helpful to you, please kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe and hit on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video like this. And share with your family and friends. Let other people know about it as well. Or leave your comment on the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Like and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching today's friend. God bless you. God bless us. God bless our nation. Wherever you are watching me from. God bless Nigeria. Let's stay safe and show love to one another. Thank you guys. Love you all. Bye.